I thought today we'd try a couple related rate problems, and this is my least favorite and the most the most used. So let's actually take a look at this. This is the ladder problem, and seen this about a thousand different ways. We have a 20-foot ladder that's leaning against the wall of a building. The ladder starts sliding down the wall so that the ladder moves down at a rate of 0.5 feet per second. How fast is the foot of the ladder moving away from the wall when the ladder, I'm sorry, when the foot of the ladder is 12 feet from the wall? Wow. Okay. All right. Let's do it this way. Um, the ground. The ground is green. The wall is purple, pink, whatever color you think that is, and the ladder is yellow. The ladder is yellow. So if you don't mind, this is our ladder. If you need me to give it dimensions, this is our ladder. Yellow ladder. Okay, so this is our ladder, and what we're saying here is that this thing is going to be sliding down this way, and as it slides down this way, of course, it's going to slide out that way until it's parallel to the ground. So this is what we're this is what we're going to do here. We know some stuff. Um, one that we know that the ladder is 20 feet long. We know that this is x, and we know that this is y. We're not going to assign a variable for this because this is a fixed amount, isn't it? We have a wall. I'm going to have to assume that this wall creates a right, a right angle, right? That helps us because we're going to be using the Pythagorean theorem in a second here, I hope. So, oh, and what else do we know? We know that this thing is going down at a rate of five, of point uh, five feet per second. All right. So now, what we need to find out is how fast is the foot of the ladder moving away from the wall? So we want to figure out how fast is it moving this way, right? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start with this related rate. And what we know is that we have a right triangle here. So, And we know that, right, that that's x squared plus y squared is equal to 20 squared, isn't it? We also know that this rate right here, this thing moving down, this is our dy dt, right? The, how fast the height changes with respect to time, right? So this is what I want to do, I think. I'm going to do this. I want to take the derivative of this whole thing with respect to time, right? Because this is how it changes, right? This squared plus this squared will always equal this 20. What's changing is the x and the y values, but we know that this keeps it constant. So let's take this derivative, the derivative of this thing with respect to time. So it's going to be d dt of x squared plus the derivative with respect to time of y squared and set equal to the derivative I'm sorry, set equal to the derivative with regard to time of 20 squared. Okay, so here we go. Going to start taking this derivative here, and we can tell hopefully that we're seeing clearly this is in, that this is implicit, right? So we take this derivative, and the derivative here is, right, this is chain rule, right? So we see it like this. So we take the derivative of the outside, which is just 2x, times the derivative of the inside, and the derivative of the inside is dx change of x with respect to time, isn't it? Plus, and I think that's what we're looking for over here, plus we're going to differentiate this thing, aren't we? That's going to be 2y times the derivative of y with respect to t. And if you don't mind, I'm going to give you a little look forward here because hopefully you can see that we already have some of this stuff, right, is equal to is equal to well what is the first how fast is this thing changing in regard to time what's well, the ladder and the ladder is not changing in length so that's why this constant has a derivative of zero because its change is zero isn't it okay so whoa hey 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 look at that so moving on so moving forward we start to look at this thing we know what the x value was the x value is 12 isn't it so we get 2 times 12 dx dt plus 2 times y dy dt is equal to 0, isn't it? So let's see where we're going to go from here. And I think this is where this problem starts to get a little bit interesting, I hope, a little bit interesting. How about this? We, you buy this if, we, if I just switch page just for a second. If I just switch, <laughs> sorry, if I just switch page for a second, that we know that x squared plus y squared is equal to 20 squared, isn't it? 
and we know this value here, the x value we started from the problem is 12. So 12 squared plus y squared is equal to 20 squared. 20 squared is 400. And we know that 12 squared is 144. And that that plus y squared is equal to 400. And then I'm just going to do my algebra here and get y squared is equal to 256 and that y is equal to 16. Somebody's saying plus or minus, but not plus or minus because it's a distance, so we know it has to be positive. So look, I can go back to this now, right? I can go back to this now and say, well, this is 16, isn't it? All right. We also know, check me out here. Remember, we're trying to find dx dt, the, 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 change, of t the change of the x value with respect to time. So what we want to know now is, look, dy dt is 0.5. So here's this dy dt is this dy dt. We can just take this out, can't we? And put in 0.5, multiply by 0.5, right? So I think we're starting to make some headway here. Uh, 2 times 16 is 32 times a half is 16 again, so plus 16. And we get 2 times 12 is 24 dx dt, right, is equal to 0. Going to start to make our move here, I hope, I hope, I hope. And it should look like this, shouldn't it? I'm going to move this over to, right, going to move this thing over. Oh, that's where it came from. Look at that. That's so good. I was looking at it. What the heck, the heck did I do wrong? This should be negative. And Connor, if you're listening, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's negative. So that would make this negative 16, wouldn't it? Because so, look what's going to happen. I'm going to add this because remember what we're trying to get to is this piece right here. So there's our 16 right here. So we have now we have 24 dx dt. We want to know how fast is that thing moving to the moving away from the wall. This right now, hopefully, you can see this algebra happening here. And it's going to be dx dt. The rate of change in the horizontally with respect to time is going to be 16 over 24. Uh, 8 goes in twice, 8 goes in three times. dx dt is equal to two thirds, so it's moving at a rate of, of two thirds feet per second. You know that was good. That really worked out great. Okay, so I'm going to try a couple more. I'm going to get those things posted as quickly as possible. Um, keep up the good work, and I think that um, this should be helpful, so I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Keep up the good work, please. Oh, subscribe. Please, subscribe. Please, please, please.